What's up nerds, my name is Abdul Nafe and welcome back to a brand new video. And in this one, we're going to be learning how to make this amazing 3D render. Now we'll start off with this perfume render in which you will learn the basics of modeling in Blender and how to use dramatic lighting and how to use uh, textures to create a dramatic feel in your scenes. After that, we'll be moving on to this watch scene in which we will learn um, slightly more advanced modeling, how to use the extrude tool um, and other tools in Blender 3D to model advanced um, objects. And after that, finally, we are going to be working on this headphones. Now these headphones are going to be slightly difficult and they're going to be slightly on the intermediate side of Blender. However, I'm pretty sure you will be able to understand them easily if you work hard enough. Now this tutorial is made for Blender beginners who have very little experience inside of Blender 3D. However, you will be expected to know the basics like navigating the viewport, using the move tool, rotate tool, using the edit mode, etc. And even if you are an experienced Blender user, you will still find this tutorial very helpful because it's filled with small useful tips and tricks. Apart from that, I'm going to be showing you my whole 3D workflow including modeling, importing any models, texturing, lighting, and rendering. So if you want to take your Blender skills to the next level, then this class is definitely for you. See you in class. Also, by the way, guys, if you want inspiration or ideas for your future 3D projects, then be sure to follow me on Instagram at Nafi3D. I post all my 3D work there. And on my stories, I post my process and uh, sometimes short tutorials on how to make um, the stuff that I make. Uh, recently, I made this uh, 3D forest inside of Unreal Engine 5. Um, and apart from that, yeah, just be sure to follow me over there. And I you will also get notified whenever I post a new sculpture class or a longer format course. And apart from that, if you want feedback on your art or you want to give feedback, uh, on my art, then be sure to DM me or comment on any of my posts and I'll be more than happy to respond to you. And apart from that, yeah, let's start the video. All right, guys, so we are inside the beautiful world of Blender 3D. And here we're gonna be creating that amazing bottle of perfume which you saw in the intro. So yeah, without any further ado, let's start. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna be, first of all, let's delete everything. And then I'm gonna create a cube. Oops, not a circle. I'm going to create a cube and now I'm, I'm thinking why did I delete the cube I had a default cube and I just deleted it and then I created a new, uh, created a new cube anyways <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all we're going to be shaping the bottle out so for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the cube and I'm going to go into edit mode now you can obviously just select edit mode from here but you can also press tab on your keyboard to go to edit mode and I'm just going to go to the front view uh, yeah front view and here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the top and uh, I'm just going to select a box like the top two vertices, top vertices, and I'm going to press S, and I'm going to increase the scale. Now, one thing that you're going gonna to notice is that only this side uh, is has been scaled up, and that's because we only had uh, these two vertices selected. However, we want to select these two, uh, these two in the back as well. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on this X-ray mode, and when you have the X-ray mode turned on, what you can do is that when you select it, you're going to see that the ba the behind ones are also selected. So I'm just going to. Um, with all these selected, I'm just going to scale them up slightly. Something like that should be good. And I'm going to select the bottom ones and I'm going to uh, press select the move tool and I'm going to move it up, move them up. Alternatively, what you could do is that you could press G to move and you can move them in any direction you want. However, if you press Z now, you can uh, it's going to be constrained to Z axis only. So I'm just going to scale it something like that. That should be, uh, I'm just going to move it up something like that. So now is the time to save your project. Don't look at the stuff. This is my personal projects. Uh, I'm just going to name it Perfume um, 2 uh, because um, I have made this perfume once before as well when I was preparing for this tutorial. So once that is saved, I'm just going to go back to object mode and I'm going to see that we have this perfume. Perfect. So one thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to tab back into edit mode and I'm just going to go to the side view and I'm going to select half of it and I'm going to move it slightly to this side. So actually, I'm just gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to select all of them. So let me just undo that. I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to scale them down by pressing S and I'm going to press Y to constrain it to Y axis. And I'm going to scale it down something like that because I don't want my perfume to be too thick. Yeah, no one likes thick perfumes. Anyways, so once that is done, I'm going to save my project and I'm going to get out of my, uh, uh, my X-ray mode. So once that is done, all right, so now you can see we have the basic general uh, shape of our perfume ready so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tab into edit mode once again and I'm just gonna scale it down a little more oops I forgot to go into x-ray mode just go there s y scale it down something like that should be good um just go back to object mode and just go to just get out of our x-ray mode anyways so now we have our basic general shape ready so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually bevel this now we have we basically have uh, two ways to bevel anything First of all, we can just go uh, press tab and go to edit mode and we can uh, go to edge select mode 
uh, by pressing this button right here. You can also alternatively press two on your keyboard. So once that is done, uh, what, uh, what you can do is that you can just press A to select all. I already have uh, everything selected, but I'm just gonna deselect it and I'm gonna press A. So you can see everything is selected. And now I can just press Control B and now I can just bevel it. Now you're gonna see that this only has one segment, uh, one um, like subdivision but I can uh, use my scroll wheel. I can scroll up to actually um, bevel this. Now, the reason why I don't actually prefer this is because it's uh, it's uh, destructive, okay? it's uh, You can't really go back or modify this bevel, okay? So I'm just gonna control Z, undo that. So instead, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna be using the bevel modifier. Now, I'm just gonna select this object. I'm gonna go to the modifier menu. I'm gonna add a modifier and you can see this bevel modifier right here. Now this uh, this obviously you can like modify and change later on and uh, or you can even remove it if you don't like. So yeah, that is something which I would recommend you to use. So these segments, I'm gonna increase them to something like, I don't know, 10 maybe, because I want it to be a pretty smooth render. So you're gonna see that uh, we still have uh, some segments visible. So I'm just gonna right click it and shade smooth. Perfect. Now I think 0 0.1 should be good enough. We can obviously make changes to this later on. So yeah, now you're gonna see that this shading uh, on this side is a slightly like, it's weird. It's acting a little weird, right? So what I'm gonna do instead is that I'm just gonna go to this, uh, uh, what do you call it? Object data properties. And I'm gonna go down to the normals and I'm gonna press this auto smooth right here. Now you're gonna see all the shading is gonna be perfect. The reason for that is because Previously, it was trying to smooth everything, basically everything, uh, every single edge, right? So, but we have now limited it to only smooth edges, which are more than uh, 30 degrees, okay? Uh, which are actually less than 30 degrees, my, my bad. So yeah, now it's only gonna um, bevel those. Uh, it's only gonna smooth those, okay? So that's gonna get rid of that weird shading. So now we have our uh, general shape ready. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another mesh, which is gonna be a cylinder. Now the cylinder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my top view. I'm going to scale it down. Something like that should be good. Let's go to my front view. I'm going to GZ, move it up. Something like that should be good. A little bit like that. Perfect. So this is going to be our um, top part. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. So right click, shade smooth. You're going to see that this uh, this has that exact same problem. So I'm just going to uh, check auto smooth for this as well. And I'm going to see that, f that this fixes it. Um, and it's looking pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going to the uh, modifier menu and we're going to be adding another uh, bevel modifier to this as well. So this much bevel is fine. I'm just going to increase the segments to 10 again. And I'm going to see that this looks pretty good. Perfect. So just save your project. And okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select this cylinder. I'm going to press Shift D to duplicate this. Now you're going to see that we can move it anywhere we want. However, I'm just going to right click on my keyboard to reset the position. So right now you're going to see that we have this uh, cylinder and cylinder 001. So this is basically the duplicated version of this. Okay. So I'm just going to press G and Z on my keyboard to move it up. Uh, and the reason why I pressed G was to uh, G was to move it. And the reason why I pressed Z was to lock it to Z axis. For example, if I press Z, if I just press Z, you can, uh, G, you're going to see that uh, we can move it anywhere we want. But if I press Z, you're going to see that it's going to lock it to only the um, Z axis. Perfect. So I'm just going to move it slightly up. And then I'm going to uh, press S and I'm going to scale it down. Something like that. Let's go to the top view and actually scale it up a little. Something like that should be good. I'm going to move it up. Perfect. Cool. So actually not perfect. I'm going to move it slightly up. Something like that should not be good. I'm just going to scale that up slightly. Uh, yeah, I think that should be good. You can, and obviously this is just personal preference and I would actually recommend you to not copy my design of a perfume. I would recommend you to come up with your own designs because that's what's really going to, um, really going to challenge you and it's going to improve your creativity a lot. So that is, Perfect, that seems to be good, yeah, perfect. So one thing which I'm gonna do is that, uh, now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna be duplicating this once again. So I'm just gonna press Control uh, Shift D and right click again to actually um, reset the position. And you're gonna see that we have the cylinder 002 as well. Uh, I'm just gonna move it up. And before we actually play this, place this, I'm gonna uh, tell you one thing. I'm gonna ask you to do one thing, uh, and that is to name the objects, okay? So because these are getting pretty messy. So cylinder, cylinder 001, cylinder 002, I'm just gonna name them. So this is going to be a uh, bottle, I don't know, main body. I'm really terrible at naming stuff, but I, just, I don't know. Uh, this, oh, now I have no idea what this is called. Um, 
uh, I have no idea the upper thing I don't know <laughs> you can just name it whatever you want but I'm just gonna name it that this is uh, the, the thing you push <laughs> I'm really terrible at naming stuff so yeah I'm just gonna name it the thing you push because why not and this is gonna be the cap cool so I'm gonna go to the front view and I'm going to be moving it down and let's uh, actually scale it down as well something like that uh, so yeah let's move it slightly down something like that let's scale it up something like that should be good I'm just gonna turn on extreme mode so that I can see from the inside as well and I'm just gonna move it down slightly how about something like that how I scale it down yeah something like that should be good perfect so right now you're gonna see that this um, bevel modifier is doing something weird like the, if I go to my front view you can see that this upper part is beveled more and this lower part uh, the y uh, the y-axis part uh, is beveled less and the reason for that is because in blender whenever whenever you change the, the scale of an object you're gonna see that if I go here and if I go into the item properties you're gonna see that the scale is all messed up it should be one all the time okay so the, uh, the way you fix that is by pressing uh, control a and you can see that this is open uh, this is going to open the apply menu and let's just apply all the transformations and you're going to see that everything is going to be set to one one and these are going to be set to zero the scale is going to be set to one and you're going to see that our beveling is going to be very smooth and even so that is uh, what you want to do with everything and i'm just going to reduce the scale uh sorry the amount something like that seems to be good uh right click make sure that it's shaded smooth and Make sure that that auto smooth turn thing is turned on. Yep, it is. So our basic model is basically complete and it was pretty easy, wasn't it? So after that, what we're gonna be doing is that we are going to be, actually one thing which I realized was that I've made this thing way too like, uh, I don't know, way too thick. And we can obviously make uh, tweaks to the bottle shape, the shape of the bottle later on when we are working on the textures and everything. So yeah, right now I think this should be good. One thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to scale the bottle slightly down. I'm going to move it up. Something like that should be good and perfect.